Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome again to our uh, session where I give you a few updates of what is happening in our native courses, especially in the subjects that you guys are doing in engineering and sometimes it's business studies. So today I just want to bring you the new changes that is happening in the new syllabi. There have been some changes that the Department of Education is bringing in the previous uh, uh, video I did uh, bring a video about the intention of the de of the department to phase out N1 to N3 uh, native courses but now at the moment as we said uh, there isn't a clear direction as to whether these will be updated or they will be phased out but what we are seeing already is the updating of the syllabus instead of them being phased out remember I did mention that they are struggling to phase them out because the industry is seeing some value in the netted courses even though they are out of date uh, since they were implemented they have never been updated however uh, the authors of these uh, uh, subjects have been updating some of these uh, books and you're going to see which subjects are already affected in that regard um, as I said here, did you know that the DHT, which is the Department of Higher Education and Training, did you know that it is implementing and updating the syllabus? So I don't want you to be caught unaware to find that you are still using a wrong book or you have purchased a book in your first time you are studying and it happened that maybe you are doing a rewrite and you are now caught up with an old book only to discover that in your exam they are going to bring uh, extra modules so you need to be very very aware of that so just take care of that and you'll be able to ensure that you are updated now in a later in a letter that was dated uh, let me just see here there is a letter which is dated 12 October 2021 there is a letter which says uh, implementation of revised or updated curricula for native report 191 programs so this was the official letter which was in a way um, officializing the updating of uh, the books as we say it so here it says um, if you look at the part it says dear principals or whoever is in the the managers and everyone says the department has embarked on a process to review curricula of programs offered in Tibet colleges in order to ensure their relevancy, their currency and alignment to the needs of industry and society. Remember, I, as we said, the industry is the one that rejected the phasing out of this subject. So we are seeing now the department bending or the department actually taking that um, uh, what I can call uh, the advice of the industry they are kind of updating instead of phasing out these netted courses and then it says the first 38 subjects were implemented in january 2021 with the cycle ending in jan 2022 with the implementation of n6 subjects in services and business studies it says 22 more subjects have been revised with the n4 business and services studies being implemented in the first semester of 2022 the n4 engineering studies there is the part the N4 Engineering Studies revised subject will be implemented in the first trimester of 2022. I would like to emphasize that because most of the time, I, I this channel is mainly for mathematics and engineering science subjects. So it says the N4 Engineering Studies revised subject will be implemented in the first trimester of 2022. Remember, in 2022, we, we are not going to have the April exams due to the November exams that were postponed to be written in January. Now, the first trimester, therefore, is going to begin, in this case, in July. So, I mean, June, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So, for some of you who will be writing uh, the next exams, just be on the lookout of the new uh, added modules, if ever you'll be sitting for the subjects in June, in June exams. So, they are saying here, the N4 Engineering Studies subjects will be implemented in the um will be implemented in the first trimester of 2022 so if you are writing in 2022 i mean if you are writing in uh, june 
remember that you will be facing a new curriculum. So the subjects we're going to look at which subjects are they referring to? And then they're saying, please refer to the 2022 academic calendar for semester one and trimester one starting dates. So be careful guys, if you are going to be sitting for the uh, exams. And then it says here, it continues and says, um, the test book catalog will be published on the in the third week of October 2021 for colleges to start with procurement for the services and business studies for the engineering the catalog will be published at the end of November so we are looking at the engineering and this is the one that I'm bringing you says by the end of November they already brought a color a catalog says the revised curricular uh, documents for these subjects are available and accessed at the DHT website but let's look at the subjects that they bring here for you to be able to say below is a list of subjects that will be implemented study, starting from Jan 2022 so guys look at the subjects and I'm focusing on engineering uh, in engineering studies be careful of such subjects as the building administration N4 it is changing building at building and structural surveying N4 it is changing building and structural construction it is changing and more importantly for me it is the engineering science N4 and mathematics N4 so the trimester one and of they're talking about here remember as I said it will be happening in the next exams and these exams are going to be in June so June July exams expect to have mm, some changes in the modules for engineering science as well as mathematics um, actually i haven't seen the new book for engineering science i haven't seen the new book for mathematics but just know that these are going to be having some uh, updates so if ever you are also going to be writing your final exam in july or june just be on the lookout of that and then the other part here if you can look at the other few subjects uh, this is for business studies those who are doing business studies you can see the subjects that I'm showing here which you can also use for information and those who are in the services industry you can use that and then uh, as I said this was an official document now what we also picked up is from the suppliers for example in future managers which is one of the main suppliers for the native books we have seen also uh, them updating us with some changes as, a, as for example they are saying and for new syllabi for the titles will be implemented from Jan 2022 you can see they are also following exactly what the department said so this is what they are having but look at the subjects I'm interested in the engineering science and the mathematics um, they will be implemented as I am doing this video the books are still not yet available they are yet to bring us the the, uh, the new books and they are expecting them anytime from now but currently the, the, um, the engineering science and mathematics and for remember it to be implemented not only that if you continue looking at n5 you can see that the building uh, subjects they are continuing from n4 n5 as you can see and also n6 which means if you are doing a building course be careful of those uh, new subjects i mean new updated curriculum also mathematics it also follows through n5 as well as other subjects such as strength of materials will also be updating apart from building and also in n6 the mathematics is changing also as well as strength of material so guys be careful as I said, be on the lookout. I wanted to bring you that. And then uh, another few changes that I've observed along the course, I think from 2021 last year, subjects such as N1 electrical trade theory. If you have noticed, you have seen something as here to say revised curriculum 2021. So even these subjects such as um, electrical trade theory, the modules that they brought in this current exam they were added modules because they have been changing the syllabus even also n2 if you check on the book you will see that there has been a revision of this curriculum to say it's revised curriculum and these changes were effected in the exams that were written and some students unfortunately they were using the books that were not yet updated and 
it did affect them in a negative way so i'm just bringing you this to say guys if you're going to be doing a rewrite just ensure that the curry the books that you're having are updated so that you are not surprised at the exam you can simply go to your um, on google and type future managers or mark Millen and see if ever there is an updated book but these updates are happening so fast you need to be able to be also in rele uh, relevant in, in 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 your studies i just wanted to bring this to you and as a guy this is 24 minute lesson for maths and science if ever you have not subscribed to this channel i will encourage you to subscribe as well as ensure that the notification is turned on so that you can be notified every time we bring in some videos we are mainly focused on maths and science and um we also bring such information to you guys so that you are aware of these changes that are happening we hope this is of help to you don't forget to leave a comment below if ever you want to ask a question drop us a, a, a comment below and we'll be able to assist you We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.